to me. And I just want to say before I start, I think TrueLink is doing such a fantastic thing. I think to have a platform with everything in one place is just such a great idea and such a great way to support um, international doctors through their what can be a complicated journey coming to practice in the UK. So I think if you haven't signed up for TrueLink, you definitely need to go and do that after this. But I'm, so today is all about uh, talking about some tips to help international doctors both understand and thrive in NHS and British culture. So I want to start by talking about some of the common problems faced by IMGs, and then we're gonna break down what communication really is, because we're, t we're talking about communication here. What actually is communication? And we have to break it down to understand understand it before we can actually understand what the what the underlying problem is we're going to talk a bit about the impact of culture on communication and I'm going to give you a few insights into British culture to help you begin to understand okay, patients and colleagues better now these are a few you I could talk for days and days on this but I've picked out a few to get you started and then I'm going to talk a little bit about my online group course called Encouraging, Equipping, Empowering UK IMGs in 20 Days. Because this is what I've done to bring together all the experience and the insights and, and the strategies that I've been teaching IMGs. And I'm going to explain to you um, how that works and what it includes. And then we'll finish with a Q&A. Now, what happens is, this is very common, um, when people are struggling with their communication or they, they've been told you need to improve your communication, they focus on the technical aspects of the English language. Even if your English was technically perfect, it doesn't mean that we're gonna say the right things that resonate. It's more than just the verbal language. And to illustrate this, look at these percentages. So now we're breaking down what communication really is. I've spoken to many doctors who have struggled with the differences here. Because in the UK, there's a strong emphasis on collaboration on teamwork. It's like the doctor and the patient, you're working as a team together. What's really valued in the UK is collaboration, teamwork. The best leaders are the ones that are down at their colleagues' levels, that help out, that are, that are approachable, um, that don't um, assert their authority in a really authoritative way. In the UK, it's important to listen, at the ho listen with your eyes. And what I mean by that, is listen to what their non-verbal communication is telling you. I just want to move on now to communication with colleagues because this is um, the one area that is very commonly is a, is a huge struggle. And it's not the professional conversations, it's the social conversations. So when it comes to social conversations with colleagues, these are my tips. Be intentional. Be intentional about engaging one-to-one. -one. So engage one-to-one, -one, ask those open questions to show interest in your colleagues' lives, okay? And be open as well about sharing about your story if you find the opportunity. And then when you have these conversations, remember what your colleagues have told you and comment on it next time. And that is why I've been inspired to create my online group course. It's called Encouraging, Equipping, Empowering UK IMGs in 20 days. I've used all my years of experience of meeting one-to-one, -one, coaching one-to-one, -one, supporting doctors on LinkedIn and Facebook um, in lots of different platforms. So um, there are 10 video sessions as part of the course. So we look at what communication really is, how do we build rapport? We look much more in depth about listening skills, being effective listeners in different situations and showing empathy and listening to what isn't being said as well as the verbal communication. There's a whole session on conversations with colleagues. There's, um, we look at dealing with conflict. We look at practical situations. There's a whole session on the unwritten cultural rules of life in the UK. There's a whole session on British humour. I haven't even touched on British humour. Um, um, and we also look at mindset because I've included this because of the, the levels of confidence and, and the kind of the, the, the struggles that people have had and trying to help break you out of this, this kind of negative mindset. How do we move forward with confidence? How do we have a bad day or make a mistake but we learn from it and move forward with confidence? So lots and lots of, this. that's just some of the content, lots and lots of great content. 